Jesus. Lift up your hands to the Almighty God and begin to express your appreciation to Him. You are in the season of we are in the season of beyond expectation. Lift that holy hands to the Almighty God. Begin to express your appreciation, your worship, because faith is the substance of the thing hoped for. The evidence of thing that you have not seen. Just give him glory that in this season of beyond expectation, a book of remembrance will be opened unto you. Just give him thanks, give him glory. We worship the Almighty God. Appreciate him because he will not leave you the way you are. You have come to him the way you are. Or he will not go back the way you, you are. He will have turned things around for your life. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Give him all the praise. Glory be to the Almighty God. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Thank you, Father. We worship and we adore you for this season. Season of beyond expectation. You are going to surpass our expectation. Oh, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. In Jesus mighty name we have worship I'd like you to pray and say my father open my door of testimony and there will be multiple fruits in my life open the door of testimony of fruitfulness in my life in the name of Jesus my father open the door of testimony of fruitfulness in my life in the name of Jesus, do the prayer. Lord, open my door of testimony of fruitfulness. King of glory, open the door of testimony of fruitfulness in my life. Lord, open the door. Open the door. Open the door of testimony. Father, open the door of testimony for everyone present here. And everyone linking up, everyone that is in link, everyone that is connected to this particular program, open the door of testimony. Open the door of testimony. Thank you, everlasting Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I'd like you to pray and say, My Father. Every report contrary to good news, I reject, I renounce, I cancel in the name of Jesus. Every report and all reports contrary to good news, I reject, I renounce, I cancel in the name of Jesus. Do the prayer for yourself. Open the door of testimony and every every new and all news contrary oh God to the news to the good news from the Lord nullify it cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus any report that is negative to good news the word of God says who has believed our report and to, to whom is the hand of the Lord revealed Good news is yours, Lord Almighty, I pray, because good news belongs to us. Mighty and holy God, we ask of you today, any report, contrary and negative, to anyone here, Lord, in the name above every other name, Jehovah God, let it be moved, let it be cancelled, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus mighty name we pray you are going to pray and say my father I receive anointing for fruitfulness this is my season of beyond expectation I receive anointing for fruitfulness I receive anointing for twins for triplets for quadruplets I receive anointing oh in the name of Jesus anointing for fruitfulness in my life, I receive that anointing, my Father. I receive it, Lord. I receive it, Jehovah God. 
I receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. I receive it, Lord. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Father. We worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Two more prayer. You are going to pray and say, my Father. Make this season of beyond expectation my season of celebration. In the name of Jesus. Where I have constantly wept before. Let it be the point of my constant celebration. In the name of Jesus. Make this season of beyond expectation my season of celebration. In the name of Jesus. Make this season. You can do it better. Make this season, oh God. Make this season. My season of celebration. Let it be the season of my celebration, oh God. Season of my celebration. Let it be my season of celebration. Oh, let it be my season, my Father. Let it be my season. Thank you, glorious Redeemer. We worship and we adore you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are going to prophesy over yourself and said in the name of Jesus, I prophesy over my womb. I prophesy over my life. Multiple fruit of glory will come out of me. Multiple fruit of joy will come out of me. I prophesy to my hands. My hands will carry bundles of joy. In another nine months, I will carry bundles of joy. Make sure you are prophesying. Make sure you are prophesying. A man barely will be satisfied by the produce of his mouth. That's what the book says. And power of life and death. And the power of the tongues. I prophesy. Prophesy. I prophesy. I prophesy. I prophesy. I prophesy over my life, over my womb, that I will carry bundles of joy. Multiple fruits will come out of me. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forever. of Lord the God who is beyond expectation of our requests or thoughts the mighty the holy God the eternal God the unchangeable God ever loving God ever dependable God ever caring God ever giving and forgiving we say thank you the giver of joy we say thank you Redeemer, we say thank you. Great physician, we say thank you. Good news that came to the world to to nullify everything called bad news. We say thank you. Thank you, everlasting Father, that after the awesome, awesome week of beyond expectation, because you are not tired of blessing us, we are here again. This hour, early hour, and in this Shiloh hour, we say thank you to you. Thank you everlasting father for strength over a daddy and his dear wife. Thank you for great 
miracle we say thank you and the miracle is still in this particular place today because still there we say thank you to you receive our thanks lord receive our praise in the name of jesus now we have come oh god of heaven into this chill hour just as you did in the days of the past because you are a repeater of miracle what is done before you can do it again you are constant god ever reliable we pray that in the life of the people who are in this program today do it and do it much more in the name of jesus i pray lord as my father in the lord has put me on this altar to represent him i will not misrepresent you god and neither my father i pray that the few words that the holy spirit has put in my mouth lord almighty and by the prayer of my father will be delivered to letter nobody will cut it a waste for me this little hour and then all the prayer we are praying today lord who hear and answer answer us by fire thank you holy spirit take over and get the glory to yourself in jesus mighty name we have prayed unless someone shout a big amen shout hallelujah help me to tell your neighbor this season god of heaven will remember you tell another neighbor this season of beyond expectation god of heaven will remember you please take your seat god of heaven will be with you i want to appreciate god for who god is and I want to thank my Father in the Lord for the privilege to minister. I pray that the strength of God in him will not be abated. And I know that he's praying for, for us now. So, and I believe God of heaven will continue to answer and hear his prayer in the name of Jesus. Say amen now. You can say a better amen. First Samuel chapter 1 verse 17 to 20. First Samuel chapter 1 verses 17 to 20. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace. And the God of Israel grant your petition which you have asked him. And she said, Let your maid servant find favor in your sight. So the woman went away and ate, and her face was no longer sad. Then they rose early in the morning and worshipped before the Lord and returned and came to their house in Ramah. And Elikana knew Anna his wife, and the Lord remember her. The Lord will remember you. So it came to pass in the process of time that Hannah conceived and bore his son and called his name Samuel. Say, because I have asked him, I have asked of, from, of, for him from the Lord. The Lord bless the reading and hearing of his word in the name of Jesus. In the season of beyond expectation, God will open a book of remembrance for you. The story we read here is the story of um, the birth of Samuel, a prophet of Israel whose word never dropped on the ground. It's a picture of the mother why she was waiting. She came, I mean, she went to see Shiloh as you appear here today. And she prayed. And God answer. Let me say before I mention a few things I need to mention in that particular story and we'll be able to further pray. God is constantly looking into our heart. He wants to see what is in your heart. He wants to see whether there is faith to connect with the promises that he made. 
He is looking for faith to be able to produce the lasting fruits in our life. And I am praying for anyone amongst us who care to say Amen. God Almighty, as He remembered Anna, God will remember you in the name of Jesus. There were three attacks that Mommy Anna encountered before God answered her. The first attack was the attack of provocation. She was provoked to depression, to anger, provoked to sorrow. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 7, 1 Samuel 1, 7. So it was year by year when she went up to the house of God that she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. This is an attack of other people, other opinion. If she's going again, look at her fruitless, fruitless tree. She's going again. Opinions of other people. Those opinions are tools in the hands of the devil. She was constantly provoked. Maybe your situation is like that. God who answered Anna, we answer you today in the name of Jesus. The second attack is the attack of misunderstanding. When you read 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 8, 1 Samuel 1 8, now the word said, then Elkanah her husband said to her, Anna, why do you weep? Why do you not eat? And why is your heart grieved? Am I not better to you than ten sons? Here is another attack. Why can't you just be happy? That is the way God wants your own to be. No, nothing is final until God finalizes it. And God has not said the final about your life. In Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, Jeremiah 29 11, God said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. The thoughts of peace, not of evil. A husband presume that she should be satisfied. Many people presume, at least you enjoy your husband. At least you have many. At least there is no crisis. At least the family of your husband, the family of your wife, they are not, they are not putting you under pressure. It's an attack of misunderstanding. Nobody knows how you are feeling. Nobody knows your pain. Nobody knows how you, how things are going on. Somebody say, I understand. They don't. You are the one. Whatever is the attack of misunderstanding of people about your situation, today, the season, the shiloh of beyond expectation, God will cancel in the name of Jesus. The third attack is the attack of accusation. Attack of accusation. Even the prophets couldn't understand her. When you read 1 Samuel chapter 1, 13 to 14. 1 Samuel chapter 1, 13 to 14. Now Anna spoke in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she was drunk. You know what Eli said in verse 14? He said, so Eli said to her, how long will you be drunk? Put your wine away from you. Even the high priest could not understand what she's going through. It's like that. Revelation 12, 11. Revelation 12, 11 talks about the accuser of brethren. I pray whatever it is today that is the attack of the enemy, God of heaven, that can do exceeding abundant, abundantly. I mean, that can do exceeding abundant, abundantly. We take over your affairs in the mighty name of Jesus. In the season of uh, beyond expectation, 
What do I do to have the book of remembrance open? What do I do when the book of remembrance is open? Number one, God wants you to surrender your struggle. Surrender your struggle. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, Hebrews 11 1, the Bible said, Now faith is the substance of the thing hoped for, the evidence of thing not seen. God wants you to surrender your struggle. In Luke 8, 48. Luke 8, 48. Now, somebody touched the hem of the garment of Jesus. And Jesus said to her, when people are criticizing her, he said, unto her daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. I pray today, as you surrender your struggle to God, God will take over in the name of Jesus. Help me to tell your neighbor, God will take over from you in the name of Jesus. Anna knew who to turn to. God. She released her body to the Lord. God expects you to release your body. Why? Because your father, God, is a caring God. He cares about you. He loves you. He's interested in what you are going through. In First Peter 5, 7. First Peter 5, 7. Casting all your care. Casting all your care upon him. For he cares for you. He's a caring God. God is a consistent God. James 1.17 James 1.17 Every good gift, a perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of light whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 Malachi 3 says I am the Lord I change it not. Your God the God we serve your Father, my Father cares and is is, is very consistent. What he has done before, he can do it again. Not only that, he cares, not only that he is consistent, he's very close that you can never imagine. Very close that you can never imagine. When you read Psalm 145, 18, Psalm 145, 18, the Bible said the, the, the Lord is near unto them that call upon him. And to all that call upon him in truth. I mean, Hannah testing ground was a spirit was was a spiritual lesson. You also you are in Shilo. You are in this particular place where our father constantly pray, where he constantly minister, and I pray today. That the God who have done it before, He will do it for you. You know why? Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. He said, This is the word on, of the Lord. To whom? Can you mention your name? The word of the Lord to whom? Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. In our life today, we need to understand that God is building, building us in his own way. You look at the example we are reading now. Look at, at the example of Elizabeth. Read that example in Luke chapter 1, verse 35 to 37. Luke chapter 1, 35 to 37. How God visited that particular family. God will visit your family too. In the season of the young expectation, when your book of remembrance is open, what do you do? When you surrender, you will reap spiritual harvest. The text I read to us, 1 Samuel 
chapter 1, 17 to 20. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 17 to 20. The woman, Mommy Anna, reap reward. The Lord remember her. Meaning, God acted on her request. And there were three things that happened to Anna. She read three things. Number one, she read the harvest of peace. She went away with something. She was no longer sad. In this season of beyond expectation, especially the slow hour of beyond expectation, you will reap the harvest of peace. Because your prayer, God has connected with answer in the name of Jesus. Not only that, she reaped the harvest of promise. What is that promise? Somewhere, the prophet, the priest, the judge, anointed, a judge and anointed ruler of, of Israel. She reaped the harvest of peace. She reaped the harvest of promise. And not only that, she reaped the harvest of grace. Grace. Three sons and three daughters. Five is number of grace. Three sons, three daughters. For as many people, many people are saying, Amen. You will reap the harvest of grace. Three sons, two daughters. Three sons, two daughters. It shall be so for you in the name of Jesus. In the season of beyond expectation, when God opened the book of remembrance and you surrender, not only you will reap the harvest, you will, he will give you greater than your expectation. I said he will give you greater than your expectation. Anna learned to trust in God. Now look at what happened. In 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 24. The same chapter. 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 24. Now when she win him, she took him up with her, with three bullock, boards, and ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and brought him to the house of the Lord in Shiloh. And the child was young. When God remembers you, he, he will go beyond your expectation. And that's what I know God will do in someone's life today. If they can say a echo, amen. And thou will be yours in the name of Jesus. There are five things I want you to take notes. Now we started uh, see to it how we can pray. In the season of beyond expectation and God opened the book of remembrance five blessings. Number one performance of his promise. Performance of his promise. In Genesis chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 I mean Genesis chapter Beg your pardon, Genesis 21, 1 and 2. Genesis 21, 1 and 2. Way back in Genesis 12, 1 to 3, God promised Abraham. In Genesis 18, 1 to 14, Genesis 18, 1 to 14, the Lord visited their home. But in Genesis 21, 1 and 2, the Bible said, and God visited Sarah, as he has said. And did unto Sarah as he has spoken. The Bible said at old age, forget about the reports that is against you. They may say this menopause. I know that menopause in your life will be on pause today. Even if they said it is menopause, stop. God will play it again today. If they say is 
menopause, top, octopus, whatever it is, God will override in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, Sarah carry laughter. You will also carry your laughter. There was a performance of his promise. Number two, conception. Sarah conceived. And there, Abraham, old age. God has never been out of control. He's always in control. He is the creator of heaven and the earth. He is the one that can do exceeding abundantly. He can do it in your life. He has done it before. And so you have a reference point. Because God is not partial. He can do it. And he will do it. Because he loves you passionately. Number three. A new season. Starts for Anna. A new season will start for you. A new season will start for you. Anna now that have been mocked. Now, she gave back to prophets that his word never dropped onto the ground. The same thing God did to Mama Sarah. She carried laughter. A new season commenced. No wonder the word of God said to us in Psalm 126, 1 to 3, Psalm 126, verses 1 to 3, when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, who are like them that dream it, our mouth was filled with laughter. Your mouth will be filled with laughter in the name of Jesus. Number four. There was reward. There will be reward for you. In Psalm 127 verse 3. Psalm 127 verse 3. The Bible said, He said, Lo, children are heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. You will have that reward in the name of Jesus. Revelation 22 12. Revelation 22 12. He said, He said, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. This season of beyond expectation, God will reward you. With boy, with girl, with twins, with triplets, quadruplets, and your two hands will be, will carry bundles of joy. Number five. She has an outstanding miracle. You will also have an outstanding miracle. Your miracle will be outstanding. In that first, first Samuel chapter 1 verse 20, first Samuel 1 20, he said, wherefore it came to pass when the time was come about Anna, when the time was come about after Anna had conceived, she bare a son and called his name Samuel, say, because I've asked him of the Lord. Beloved of God, you have come to the hour of Shiloh this season of, divine, of, of, of beyond expectation. There is no way you can miss your blessing. There is no way God can close his eyes to your tears. There is no way God can close his eyes to what is paramount needs. In your life. Just as he did. For Mama Anna. God. Will do your own in the name of Jesus. In that book of Isaiah. Chapter 66 verse 9. Isaiah 66 9. Shall I bring to the time of birth. And not cause delivery says the Lord. Shall I who cause delivery shut up wounds says the Lord. Whatever has been shot against you, in terms of your womb, whatever report negative of you, 
I pray unto God today, not by mind, not by power, because I am commissioned and commanded and appointed to be here where my father and the Lord constantly stand and is still standing. Everything about you today, we encounter glory and joy in the name of Jesus. But if you want to connect with this book of remembrance, let me mention two things and we'll begin to pray. Now, in the season of beyond expectation, number one thing you should do to connect is to be sure that you are a child of the living God. Bona fide sons and daughters of the living God. That's why I want to encourage those who are yet to give their life. Because I will soon be making another call. When it is time you come. But remember, God created you and have plans. So what do you do? Believe what he said. Believe what he said. Believe his word. Because in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, Hebrews 11, for without faith, it is impossible to please him. In the same Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38, Hebrews 10, 38, that the just, we connect with blessing and be justified by his or our own faith. Belief. And number two, which is the last one, now close now, is the fact that you rehearse to the Lord his promises. You rehearse to him his promises. There's nothing you are looking for that is not covered under his word. There's nothing you are looking for that God has not made provision for. God is a caring father. Before you came into existence, there are good things that he has spent down, he has arranged for you. That's why I want to encourage us as we pray this particular day that you will surrender to him. You will let him hear what you are going through. Not only that you believe, when you are rehearsing, how do you rehearse? You quote his word and say, you are the one who created me and you are the one who said none to everybody. You rehearse his word in prayer. Shall we rise up as we pray? And if you are there, before we start praying, because we are going to pray on three prayer points and we'll do the rest of the thing. If you are there, as we stand up to pray, you are going, I want you to come to the altar. You are yet to surrender your life. He, please give him a chance. God wants you to be fruitful. He has opened the book of remembrance. Please shall we rise as we begin to pray. The Bible said, as the arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so children of the youth, happy is the man and his quiver is full of death. I'd like you to, those who want to surrender their life, please, I want you to come now, wherever you are, please come to the altar. This is the altar where my Father and the Lord has constantly prayed and constantly, uh, constantly rehearsed and released the word of God. Please, if you are coming, come quickly, let all of us rise, please, and begin to tell the Lord, Lord, I am here in the season of beyond expectation. Just as you did for Mami Anna, open your book of remembrance for me. And as people are praying, you are there, you want to come to the altar, please come quickly, come quickly to him, let him see you, let him distinguish you. The, the woman Anna also went to the altar in Shiloh. That's why the priest was able to identify her. You are there, you want to say pray with me. I will be, I will be willing to do that on behalf of my father. So you begin, to, the rest, let the rest begin to pray. Lord, open the book of remembrance. Open the book of remembrance for me. 
And as the book is open, Father, may I be able to connect with all your promises. Every enemy of my fruitfulness, your time has expired in my life. In the name of Jesus, every voice of barrenness speaking against my fruitfulness, I command you to shut up. In the name of Jesus, begin to ask the Lord, enemy of my fruitfulness, you will no longer proceed. Your time has expired. Every voice of barrenness speaking against my fruitfulness, shut up in the name of Jesus. Command you to shut up. Let every seed of unfruitfulness planted in my womb, whether in the dream, whether physically, you are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every power waiting to abort my destiny, you can no longer perform your enterprise. No, you can no longer perform your enterprise. In the name of Jesus, begin to ask the Lord. And if you are there, you want to say, pray with me. I want to surrender my life or I want to rededicate my life. Anywhere you are in the crowd, please, I want you to appear here. Please come here. Come to the altar, please. Thank you, eternal Father. Begin to do that prayer. Every voice of barrenness speaking against my fruitfulness. Command you shut up in the name of Jesus. See the barrenness planted in my womb. Either in the day or in the dream. Shut up. Be rooted out. In the name of Jesus. Be rooted out. My father. Let every tree. Of dryness. Every seed. Every seed. That is transplanted into my life. Whether in the day or in the night. Let that seed dry off. God bless you those who are coming as you come to the altar. Just begin to say your own. The reason why I ask you to come to the altar is that your prayer might be answered first. That you may receive first hand miracle. First hand miracle. Be- let the rest begin to pray. And after that prayer, I will be able to call two other prayer points and uh, we'll do what we need to do. Every enemy of fruitful of fruitfulness. I'm mean, every enemy of fruitfulness in my life. Your time expired in my life. In the name of Jesus. Every voice of barrenness. Every voice of barrenness speaking against my fruitfulness. Shut up. In the name of Jesus. Seed of barrenness planted into my womb. Whether in the dream or in the day. Go away. Go away. Thank you, eternal Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus mighty name in, G- in Jesus mighty name we pray Second prayer point You are going to pray and say my father I can't hear you My father Let every Seed of fruitfulness Bury in the valley of my Enemy arise And manifest My seed of fruitfulness Buried in the Valley of the enemy arise and manifest in my life let your divine vitalizer vitalize every barren situation in my life that's prayer number two that's the prayer number two oh lord let seed let the seed of fruitfulness bury the valley of my enemy arise and manifest in the name of jesus Father, let your divine fertilizer fertilize my womb. In the name of Jesus. Fertilize, fertilize my womb. Fertilize all the water that produce issues. Fertilize my body. In the name of Jesus. Let your seed of greatness speak to your body. My body, hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. You will be a fruit. Fruit. And it will come up this, from this month. My body, hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. Be a good fruit. And start from this month. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Prayer number three. Prayer number three. You are going to pray and say, Father, every program hindering my harvest, harvest of fruitfulness, I paralyze you in the name of Jesus. I paralyze you in the name of Jesus. Every program and all programs hindering my harvest, harvest of fruitfulness, you are paralyzed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You tree of barrenness occupying the space of my fruitfulness. The axe of God is upon you. You are cut down. You are cut down. Do the prayer. Do the prayer. Do the prayer. Thank you, Jesus. We worship and we adore you. Blessed be your name. Thank you, gracious Father. Please, you can do this because the Bible said in the book of Proverbs chapter 18, when you pick it up from verse 19, 19, 20 and 21, he said, a man's belly will be satisfied by the fruit of his mouth. Power of life and death, he said in verse 21. You are going to prophesy over your life again. You are going to pray and say, my life, hear the word of the Lord. Produce fruit that last. Produce good fruit that will last in the name of Jesus. My life, hear the word of the Lord. Produce good fruit that will last in the name of Jesus. My life, hear the word of the Lord. You can mention your name. Mention the name of your wife or your husband. Produce good fruit that will last in the name of Jesus. Produce good fruit. Thank you, gracious Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I can't hear that. Amen. Shall we pray? Eternal Father, we want to give you thanks. The Lord of glory, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be honored. What a privilege to come to Shiloh hour after beyond expectation. Awesome week of multiple blessings. And because you are not tired of blessing us, you want to give us but Tom Pot blessing. I pray today, Jehovah God, from the people that are be, before this altar, who I say, who is saying to you, I do. I ask that your divine eyes, your divine hand, your divine grace, your divine reconciliation, your divine restoration, for the people by the altar, let him visit them in the name of Jesus. Everyone that help them to say amen, carry double of their prayers. I pray that today, for as many people are saying I do to God, God will receive you back to his house. Receive you back to his home. Whatever things you have lost, as a result for being outside his house, God will restore to you multiply in the name of Jesus. And I ask that your name will go back into the document of the bona fide sons and daughters and you will continually receive promises in the name of Jesus. Great God will give you power to live for him for the rest of your life. And whosoever say amen with you Iniquity will not be found in your tent. Thank you, gracious Father. All the prayer we have raised, the Lord who hear and answer, I pray that today, a new thing, a new chapter of the new beginning, a new chapter of a new glory, is a new week. Today is Monday. Monday, following beyond expectation. God 
who remembered Anna. He remembered Sarah. He remembered Elizabeth. He remembered Rachel. The same God. Yesterday, today, and forever. We remember you in the name of Jesus. Not by might. Not by power. God will make it happen to you in the name of Jesus. In nine months time, with dancing and singing, with loud noise of praise, you will come back to give glory to God. And wherever you find the bigger and the better, amen, your miracle will happen first. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And let the people of God shout a big amen. I said shout a big amen. Help me to say to your neighbor, both the people at the altar and the, just say congratulations, congratulations. It's your turn, it's your turn. Now, for those people who are by the altar, please, can you see our, the pastor there holding a stick? Just go there. My father in the Lord will want to have your detail and all your prayer requests without exception. Please, people of God, clap your hand as they go. Clap your hand as they go. My father in the Lord has said, any hand that clap will never wither. Any hand that clap will carry bundles of joy. Boys and girls. Any hand that clap will receive uncommon and unusual blessings. Hallelujah. The Lord Almighty will bless you. Please, it's time to communicate to God with our offering. Please, I want you to carry your offering now and we, you carry your offering um, the choir will sing you will drop your offering and I will do the next assignment that my father and the Lord asked me to do because after that offering we we'll pray on it and those who have written letters to her father and they ask you to come on occasion like this to be able to pray for you you know I didn't stand there on my own so he's already praying I'm just connecting my own prayer with his and the Lord hear him so please package your offering and please the choir will lead us choir please I have a father who will never, never fail me. I have a father, he will never, never fail me. Jesus is my father, he will never, never fail me. Rock of
myself the testimony of your life people will see and come and rejoice with you so if you are part of the people who have reached to our father in the lord the occasion like this you want him to pray he's praying for us in his um, prayer room now so we are there please approach the altar this is where altar is where life is being altered and i will I will do, I will connect my own short prayer with his own big prayer. And God of heaven will put upon you bogus mighty miracle to the glory of his name. I thought somebody is saying amen. So God bless you. Just approach the altar. I want to pray for, on behalf of my father and the Lord for those people. I believe God that the testimony of your life is what the choir has been inspired to see. People will see and tes- testify in the name above every other name. The testimony of my own life. People will see and testify to the glory of his name. The testimony of your life. People will see and testify in the name of Jesus. God bless you. It may be a good idea to put your own hand on your head. If you are, if you, if you are in the great convention, you dis- I mean, convention we just finished on two occasions. We did that, and uh, God fantastically supplied testimonies. If you listen to testimony that we're giving, it's um, instantaneous testimony. Let's pray together. Eternal Father, we want to thank you. We worship your name because you are God that hear and answer prayers. These people of God has come to God in faith. That if I died in the Lord, the one you favored, and the one the hand of God is on, if you pray, you will answer. And he appointed me to be here today and I am standing in that appointment. And I declare that that which you are trusting God for, big, small, major, or minor, receive it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever has been causing delay, whatsoever has been causing blockage, all spiritual and physical bureaucracies, I command by the power in the name above every other name. Let such be clear today in the name of Jesus. Every one of you by this altar. Altar is where life is being altered. We pray you will carry your testimony. People will hear. People will testify. People will rejoice with you. In the name of Jesus. Mockery and in your life your mocker will be put to shame those who are expectant of evil from you and for you they will, will restore their expectation back to sender in the name of Jesus you will carry beyond expectation fruitfulness beyond expectation blessing beyond expectation answer in the name of Jesus, whatever may be your various request, this is the altar built for your son. You are noted. We are standing with him here. The God who have done it before and is still doing it, 
will do it in your life. Carry your blessing. Carry your testimony. It's your turn. In the name of Jesus. Bless our offering. Use it for your glory. In the kingdom of the righteous will not miss our reward. And for everyone who is in this program, whether virtual or actual, whatever may be other prayer requests of yours, wherever you are across the globe, may God answer you instantaneously. May you have your testimony. And when the kingdom of God comes, you and I will not be found wanting or missing there in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal Father. From now and for the rest of our life, beyond, beyond expectation blessing, will be constant, unending, unstoppable occurrences in our life in the name of Jesus. Thank you because it is done. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Unless somebody shout the echo, Amen. If you receive it, shout hallelujah. If you receive it, shout another hallelujah. Anyone who shout the biggest hallelujah carry the biggest blessing. God bless you. Just give thanks to God and